Hey fam, so remember that time you were riding the slingshot ride and your wig flew off, ended up getting caught in a bush, and next thing you know it was getting slapped by beaver tails and getting trampled by giraffes? Well, snatch that wig, let's get it fixed, it's a hot mess. So the underneath it's looking a hot mess, the top is looking a hot mess. Your wig looks like Joan the Scammer after she had a good night with her boyfriend. Well, we about to get that fixed, baby. Go ahead and toss her on your wig head, and from there we're gonna go ahead and pin her in the nape. We'll pin her around the ear area, and honestly, you'll probably wanna pin it in the top as well, just to make sure it doesn't do an extra bit of budging. I'll let you guys see the foolery of how that ended up turning out when I didn't. You can see because I could not run fingers through this hair, it was trying to budge a bit too much. So we had to slide it back, toss a pin in the top, so that way she wasn't trying to ride off in the middle of the night uh, and end up looking like this again, honestly, because I, I don't know what type of gang fight she was getting in. Anyway, get you a wig brush like this right here. If you don't have one, you can just use a standard paddle brush, but honestly, I like this one a bit better. We're not gonna talk about what she looks like she just finished doing. We're not gonna talk. I know where your mind is at, baby. It's, anyway, so y'all can see we having some troubles. Go ahead and pin this hair up. We're gonna begin to detangle, starting at that nape area and moving on up. Now, I know the nape is usually where it's gonna be matting and tangling the worst. The texture of this hair is gonna be quite a bit more rough. So I'll warn you guys in advance, it is gonna look like, oh wow, that's so much better just after the brushing. But if you've ever had a synthetic wig before, you already know, you can brush it out to look real nice for maybe a picture. But the moment you blink your eye, the hair is going to uh, mat right back up because the texture of the synthetic has not changed. So if you're that person who's going to leave the comment talking about some, it looks better after you brush it. That's all you had to do. Baby, why are you so argumentative? You don't have to be argumentative. You can just watch and enjoy. That's all you got to do, baby. Uh, I know it looks good on camera. However, comma, we want to make sure that you look good off camera too. I want to make sure that when you go to the Walmart that you don't look like one of those people that ends up on peopleofwalmart.com. So we're going to give a nice thorough detangling, but we're not going to stop there because we're not basic on this channel. Not over here. Maybe it's some other channel. We're not going to throw any channels under the bus, but not over here. Because you guys can see how my brush keeps on catching on stuff, even though this hair has been detangled. I don't want your hair catching on stuff and end up getting snatched off and caught in any more trees, bushes, or shrubs. So you can kind of see, you can't really see real well how the texture on these ends is here, but you will be able to see when I let go of this hair, how the hair is still a bit stiff. You see how that stiffness is there? That's not the look. I don't want you guys looking like who did it, what for, why, how, and where. Instead, we want to make sure that, that hair is looking more put together and done. Uh, you can kind of see how we've got that frizz underneath already, and this level of stiffness would be back in a heartbeat. So, now that we've got that taken care of, this is the wig that is here. It's honestly a really good wig. I'll have it linked in the description box. Don't be asking a whole bunch of questions. You already know where to find it. Uh, we've got these pins here. These are double prong clippies. They're usually roller clips. They open like this. Um, from there, we're gonna go ahead and pull this hair up and you can see it's still trying to tangle on the underneath. That's why I said brushing it alone was not enough. So random person that was gonna say that, if you're still there, now you know why I said that. I still love you, boo-boo. You can still be a part of the family. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pin this hair up and out of the way. I'm gonna show you guys how to smooth this out using a cheap steamer. I got this one, I think, from Walmart, but I'll link one from Amazon down below, and I'm gonna use that same wig brush from earlier. You're gonna go ahead and take your wig brush and your steamer once it starts presenting steam like this, and you're gonna go ahead and brush through the hair slowly with your steamer and knock those uh, kinks right on out of the hair. Now this is gonna allow you to go ahead and prep her for the next step. Some of you may be fine with this, especially if it's a straight wig, you may be fine with going ahead and doing this and that being that. Um, but I want to give this wig a little bit more style to it because it just felt kind of plain um, and like it just needed a little more life. And you guys will see that afterwards. Now I'm committed to not wasting a ton of your time in this video, so I'm not gonna make y'all watch me steam this entire wig, but I do want you to see the difference in how that hair is smoothing out uh, before versus after. So before is gonna be on your right, of course. Baby, you saw me do it. This is before. Um, over here, how it's already laying a bit more smooth. Now, admittedly, it is damp, so I get, if you're skeptical, that's fine. You could be skeptical, it's 2022, baby. I'm skeptical too. Every time they turn around, they got a new disease running around these streets. Anyway, so smooth out all the areas of the wig. I went ahead and jumped to the top, because like I said, we're not gonna waste your time. This is what it looks like when we're done. Now, I noticed the part line looked a little puffy, so I did go ahead and pull the hair, and you can see how just applying that steam, it instantly made the part line more noticeable. On this side, I wanted to comb down and do the same thing just to give a little bit more flatness around the part. 
um, and that way it just looks a little it looks a little bit more put together in the front I'm gonna go ahead and comb it back and steam it back that way and then from there we're gonna go ahead and pin it and I'll let the hair fall forward just to give some extra body around the face now if you don't know what type of look I'm talking about baby you will in a minute it's the it's the she'll steal your man look it's that one you already know the one I'm talking about because everybody in their mama wants it you got you see how I push it back and I'm pulling it back forward that's just the hint that's just the glimpse now like I said if you want to go ahead and just steam it like this and be done you can um, it, I'm not going to talk about you with that, but I'm going to show you guys how to elevate it using no other tools than literally what I've shown you now and honestly a grocery bag, but nonetheless. So we're going to go ahead and pin this hair back like so. We're going to pull forward and I want that level of lift to kind of stay there. And you can see how I'm kind of envisioning it going. A light steam in there because we're not done yet. We just want to give it a little bit of memory. Then from there, I'm going to go ahead and take my comb and loosely section out uh, some sections of the hair and we're going to begin to pin curl with our fingers. Now, I know some of y'all may be thinking pin curling, that's basic. Do people even pin curl anymore? Mm, not really, but you know what? It's still a good skill to have in your arsenal. And so that's why I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. Don't try to come for me, boo, because <laughs> when you see the end results, you're going to be like, well, how come we stop pin curling? And I'm going to tell you, I don't know, baby. You decided to get away from the stuff that was working for you. That's, you know, there's a whole sermon in that. Cause let me tell you the amount of people that will switch up shampoos, products, all type of stuff that is currently working for you just because it's trending online to get something else. And then wonder why their hair is not growing or it's breaking off and all that is beyond me. Anyway, go ahead and pin through the curl, not over the top. And that way we don't end up leaving any indentations in this hair. We're gonna go ahead and comb this hair smooth prior to uh, rolling it around our fingers. And you guys can see I'm going for a larger curl. So this isn't something that you're gonna have to spend all day on. I might have had maybe 15 curls in this hair. You know, honestly, I didn't even count them. So that could be a very poor estimation, but I don't, I don't recall putting a whole bunch in there. At any rate, so once you see how I pin this in, I'm gonna jump to the last curl because again, I don't want to waste your time. You got stuff to do today. I've already been talking enough during this voiceover and child, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty too. And so was this wig, honestly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and comb out this last curl. This one is on the other side. So I'm going to go in the opposite direction with it because I'm going to pull all the hair away from the face uh, or in this case away from the front because it's a wig. She don't have a face. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull this to the back. And we're gonna pin that the same way that we pinned everything else in this wig head, okay? Now, once you have it pinned, she's gonna look just like this here. I want you guys to kind of see how this is pinned up. It does not have to be anything major. That means no flexi rods, no rollers, no rod sets, no perm rods, but you do need a grocery bag. I'm gonna use this Aldi's bag. If you have a bag that has a logo or something on it like this, please make sure the logo is facing the outside, especially if it is a light colored wig. If you do not listen to this part and you end up with that barcode scanner on, the, on your wig because it rubbed off due to the next step, don't come in my comments talking about you ruined my wig. No, I didn't. Your lack of following instructions ruined your wig. Make sure the print is on the outside. From there, take your steamer and you're gonna go ahead and steam on the inside. Now, without question, someone always asks me if they have to have a steamer. I guess technically you could do this over like a pot of water, but that just seems like a really serious way to burn yourself. But we're gonna steam and let this sit for 10 minutes. After that, I'm gonna take the bag off. If the hair seems excessively wet, go ahead and leave it for another five to 10 minutes. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do here. And you can honestly see one of the curls fell loose, but um, I'm not gonna be overly concerned with it because honestly, it's fine. Now you can see I did try to fix it. And then when I saw that it wanted to do what it wanted to do, and like I said, I got stuff to do today. I was like, you know what, you can die. And that's exactly uh, the energy that I had <laughs> in fixing that curl. Nonetheless, this is how it's still looking. We're gonna let that uh, completely dry and then we're gonna begin to start taking these pins out of the hair. So uh, this allows for me to go ahead and start taking these curls loose. And I want you guys to kind of see how this hair begins to fall. Um, it's not too tight of a curl. It gives a really nice flow to the hair. 
and I can't wait until you guys see the end result. Now stick with me, because I know when we first start doing this, you may not have the vision to see it just yet. Hopefully, you develop. Hopefully, it's developing. I, I hope the vision has developed by now, but if it hasn't, that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue to take these out. And again, I don't want to waste your time, so I'm not going to make you watch me take all these out. But I am going to go ahead and flip to the other side here in just a second. But I do want you guys to see just how quickly this goes. So flipping to the other side, as I am unpinning these, I'm just encouraging the curl to go the way that they were rolled. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see. And we'll run our fingers through it. And then at this point, like... There's not a ton of styling that really has to be done other than just making it look a bit more blended and together. So I'm gonna run my fingers through here. Do you guys see the level of silkiness that is here that wasn't there before? Uh, hopefully y'all caught that reference. I am infinity billion years old. Um, so if you haven't seen Beauty and the Beast, you're probably 12. I need you to go back and watch that because honestly, what are you doing with your life if you haven't seen it? Although I do have 27 million kids, which is exactly why I'm aware of that song. Um, you can see the flow of this style, which I absolutely love. We're gonna go ahead and uh, mess with it just a little bit more because I want you guys to see the freakum bang, the bang that ends up stealing someone's man. Hopefully not. Hopefully she decides to go ahead and, and you know, let him do right. But babe, look at those bangs. Tell me that's not cute. You know it is. You know you, know you want to see those bangs on your head right now. Look at this. It's the same wig, y'all. It looks brand new. Look at the level of movement that is there. Stiff wear. Stiff at the beginning of this video because you remember what this wig looked like. She looked like she had a great time or a bad time. I don't know. She could have got jumped. She could have had a good time. She could be pregnant. It could be a lot of things going on. Nonetheless, I think that the after is definitely worth the work because the before was looking like she was on her way out of here. But we breathe new life into her today. So for those who were wondering what to do with your stiff wig, now you know. If you're wondering again what this wig is, it's right here. Right here. It'll be linked in the description box down below. And this is the finished result. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe, share it with a friend, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. You know I love you, boo. Take care, God bless, and stay glam. Bye-bye. <laughs>